<laughs> this is going so well. Have you put the cards away yet, Ben? Uh, nearly small. Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world! <laughs> you haven't put those cards away yet, Ben. Sorry, Small, but I was just trying to finish making my house of cards. And you have. It looks great. It might get in the way of the cooking, though. Oh, yes. You're right. Are you going to help me blow it down, then, Small? OK. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <laughs> hey! Hey, I know a really good game we could play with these cards, Small. Oh, goody. Have we got time? Of course. We don't have a customer yet, do we? OK, Small, here's what we do. Right, I'll find a card like a... Oh, a four. There. So now we have to find four of something right here in the kitchen. OK, let's see. Um, oh, bowls. One, two. I can see two bowls, but not four. Oh, I can see some spoons. How many? One. Two, three, but not four. Well, what about cups? How many cups? Look, one, two, three, four, yeah! Oh, great, Ben. Can I pick a card this time? Of course you can, Small. Here you go. Thanks, Ben. Oh, no! <laughs> what? What is it, Small? It's a king, Ben. A king? Ooh, that is a tricky one. I mean, there isn't a king in the kitchen, is there? No, but I think I'd make a great king. Yes, in fact, with this cloak on, whee! I think I'd make a brilliant king. No time for that now, Small. You better get your kingly cloak off. You don't want to get it caught on your spoonmobile. OK, I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer today, Small? You'll never guess who it is, Ben. Give me a clue. OK, she's wearing a crown and a cloak. Oh, a queen! A queen! Oh, my, we've got a queen in our cafe. I must practice my bowing. Oh, good morning, Mum. How very lovely to see you, Mum. <laughs> There's no time for any of that now, Ben. Let's get cooking. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I came across a beautiful castle. This was the Castle of Hearts, and inside lived the famous Queen of Hearts, the sweetest queen in the whole wide world. I knocked at the kitchen door. The cook was inside. He was in a real tizzy. You see, the Queen of Hearts was a very fussy eater, and the poor cook couldn't find anything she liked. He wrung his hands and said to me, I've tried sandwiches, I've tried jelly, but she won't put any of it in her belly. I've tried apples, juicy and scrummy, but even apples won't go in her tummy. I've tried vegetables, I've tried meat, but I can't find anything the Queen will eat. Well, as you can imagine, I had to go to her rescue. I found the Queen of Hearts in the garden. Hello, Your Majesty, I said. I'm your new cook for today. Oh dear, she replied. That's a dreadful job because I'm very fussy about food. You'll never find anything I like. What about these lovely strawberries? I asked. The strawberries look juicy and plump and ripe. The Queen tried one and... Ugh! She cried. It's too sour. Everything's too sour for me. I'm a sweet person and I need sweet things. And it was then that I had one of my brilliant ideas. I took the strawberries away and I made them into jam. Lovely sweet strawberry jam. I made jam sandwiches and when the Queen tasted one she said, Delicious! 
And from that day on, the Queen of Hearts put jam on everything. On toast, on sausages, even on cabbage. Sometimes she accidentally put it on herself. Look at me, she'd cry. I'm so jammy. Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Oh, yes, and I think it's given us a big clue about what to make for the Queen of Hearts, don't you? Way! Maybe we could cook her something with jam. Oh, yes, but what? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, we could... Oh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the big cookery book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Here we are, Small. The perfect thing. Queen of Hearts tarts. The Queen of Hearts made some tarts all on a summer's day. The Knave of Hearts stole those tarts and took them clean away. <laughs> oh, well, that settles it. The Queen of Hearts loves jam tarts. Yes, she does, Small, and it's all thanks to you. After all, you introduced her to jam. Oh, that was nothing, Ben. <laughs> and I think we should make her some more right away. After all, that naughty knave did steal hers. That's right, Ben. I'll read out the ingredients, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, we're going to need short crust pastry. OK, over to the fridge. Here we go, yep. Short crust pastry, got it, Small. And strawberry jam. Strawberry jam. Here we are. Um, right, uh, okay then, Small, we've got the short crust pastry, but the strawberry jam is a problem. How can strawberry jam be a problem? Because we haven't got any. Oh, well, don't worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get some. Only the best for our queen. Good idea, Small, and I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along too? Woohoo! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Smells good in here. Strawberries to make strawberry jam. My favourite! First of all, the strawberries have to be put in a big pan. And then the sugar is added to make it nice and sweet. The strawberries and sugar have to be mixed together on the hob. Mmm, smells delicious. This mixture is being poured into the strawberries to help it thicken and become jam. Now the jam can be poured into jam jars and left to cool down. Lid on, and it also needs a label to tell us what sort of jam it is. This is strawberry jam, the Queen of Hearts favourite. Yummy strawberry jam! Better get back to the cafe. Bye! Here we are. <laughs> hey, good morning, Mum. How very nice to meet you, Mum. Should I call you Mum or Your Majesty, Mum? <laughs> oh, hello there, Small. I was just um... practicing your bowing. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> hey, I brought back some jam. Oh, wow! Perfect. Jam fit for a queen. I saw it being made, Ben. It was brilliant. They put all the ingredients into a big pot. Strawberries, sugar and water. And then it went all lovely and gooey. <laughs> Sounds brilliant, Small. But we better get cooking. The sooner Mum gets her jam, the better. <laughs> right you are, Ben. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruit smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. 
We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat You can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Queen of Hearts tarts? You do? There was short crust pastry, one packet, and strawberry jam. Three tablespoons. We're using strawberry, but you can use any flavour you like. Whoopee! Let's get started! Hee hee! Hey, Ben, you'll need to turn the oven on first. Right you are, Small. OK, then. Over to the oven we go. I'm going to turn it on to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. Shh! I'm going to get some jam. <laughs> Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. What's next, Small? <laughs> oh, um, you have to do the pastry bit next, Ben. While I have a little taste. Mmm. OK, then. Here's how we roll out the pastry. Here we go. First of all, I'm going to flour the board like this and put a little bit onto the rolling pin. There. This will stop the pastry from sticking. Pop the pastry on and roll away. Oh. And I'm going to turn it every so often. There we go. Mmm. Wouldn't it be lovely to be king? I could eat all the jam in the world. <laughs> the Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The Knave of Hearts, he stole the tarts and took them clean away. <laughs> this pastry's nice and flat now, so I'm going to take this round pastry cutter and I'm going to make two circles exactly the same. One there. And another one there. How am I doing, Small? Great! You're doing fine, Ben. Now, what shall I call myself? OK. King Little Cook Small. No, no, that's too long. Um, King Cook. Um, King Small. Oh, I don't know. There we are. Great. Now, I've put this lot of circles onto a greased baking tray and now I'm going to take this heart-shaped pastry cutter here it is and cut out heart shapes from the remaining lot of circles like this and there's one over there and another one If you don't have a heart-shaped cutter, you could always get your grown-up helper to cut out a heart shape for you. I don't feel like a king yet. Perhaps some more jam might help. <laughs> Woohoo! Now I'm going to use a bit of water for this next part. I'll brush them around this pastry circle. And this will help the heart-shaped circle to stick on top. So I'll just pick it up. Careful. And place it on top of the other circle. Great. I'll just do a few more. <laughs> and now for the jam in the middle. That's funny. I'm sure there was more jam in here. Small. <laughs> <laughs> Small, it was you! Mmm! Oh, well, it's lucky I've got some more in here. Now we're going to put some jam inside every heart. When the jam gets hot, it'll spread out. And the last one. 
Brilliant. All ready for the oven. So, oven gloves on. And over we go. And remember to get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. In they go. For 15 minutes. I'll set the timer. For 15 minutes. There we are, cooked and cooled. Just popping them onto a plate. There. They look brilliant! Hey, perfect! <laughs> Here goes. Queen of Hearts tarts coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes. It looks like the Queen of Hearts enjoyed her tarts and looks small. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My Queen of Hearts tarts were delicious. Oh, to say thank you, here's a little gift for my friend Small, who introduced me to jam in the first place. I wonder what it is. Here you go, Small. Thanks, Ben. <gasps> wow! A crown! For me! Brilliant! Oh, it really suits you, Small. Now I feel like a real king. King of the kitchen. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone! It's great to start the day with a tidy cafe. <laughs> no sign of Ben yet, though. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world! <laughs> Ben's not here at the moment, but he won't be long. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, ben could not make it today. He is a bit busy, so he has asked me to take his place. My name is Pierre-Francois. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at his face. I'm sure I've seen him before. <laughs> hey, why are you staring at my face? You make me all shy. I'm sure I recognize him. Hang on. That's not Pierre. That's Ben. Hey, Ben, we know it's you! <laughs> oh, you saw through my clever disguise. I thought I could fool you. Well, your coat's different and so is your hair. <laughs> and your eyeglass makes you look really distinguished. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> In fact, your voice is very different. The only thing is, your face looks exactly the same. But I've been invited to a party where everybody has to dress in disguise. A disguise is when you change the way you look, so your friends don't know who you are. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? My disguise isn't very good. Don't worry, Ben. We'll find something. We'll have to worry about my disguise later, Small. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's in our cafe today, Small? Well, we've got three customers in our cafe today, Ben. 
Three? Wowee! <laughs> what do they look like? Well, there's a little one, a medium-sized one, and a big one. Oh, give us another clue. They're very furry. <laughs> I'll guess in a minute. And they have horns coming out of their heads. <laughs> oh, I know who they are. They're the three Billy Goats Gruff. You're right. The three Billy Goats Gruff. Now, I wonder what Billy Goats would like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was out for a walk in the countryside when I met three billy goats. A big billy goat, a medium-sized billy goat, and a little billy goat. Hello, they bleated. We're the three billy goats, gruff. The billy goats were very hungry, so I shared my packed lunch with them. We don't have enough grass to eat in this field, said the little billy goat, gruff. I looked at the field on the other side of the bridge. And the grass was very green. Well, why don't you cross over? I asked. We can't," said the medium-sized Billy Goat. "There's a nasty troll living under the bridge. He's going to gobble us up." I'm sure he wouldn't do that," I said. "Come on." We started to trip, 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 trap over the bridge. But sure enough, the nasty troll appeared. Who dares to trip, trip, trap across my bridge? He bellowed. How am I supposed to get rid of my headache with all this trip, trap, trip, trapping? So that's why he's so angry. I thought he's a troll with a sore head. Then I had an idea. I found some of the softest moss. And I made mossy slippers for the little Billy Goat, mossy slippers for the medium-sized Billy Goat, and mossy slippers for the big Billy Goat. Oh yes, and I made a pair of mossy slippers for myself too. <laughs> Wearing our mossy slippers, we pad pad padded across the bridge, and the troll didn't hear a thing. The goats were so pleased to be in the lush green field that they made the troll a pair of goat's wool earmuffs, so that he'd never ever be disturbed by trip trip trapping. Little cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. So the three Billy goats gruff feasted on tasty green grass thanks to your brilliant idea, little cook. But what can we cook for three Billy goats? That's a good question, Ben. <laughs> I know Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Oh, let's see. Aha! I found just the thing to remind the three Billy Goats Gruff of their adventure. A baguette bridge. That's trip trap tremendous. <laughs> you read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. Okay, let's see. We're going to need onions. Onions. Over we go. Here we are. One onions, two onions. Yep. A baguette. And what's a baguette? A long bread roll. Like this. Oh. <laughs> oil. Here we go. Got the oil small. Sugar. Got it. Cider vinegar. Oh yes. Here we are. That's in the cupboard as well. Yep. Cress. Here we go. Got the cress mall. And goat's cheese. Goat's cheese. Oh right. Okay. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. But I'm afraid we don't have any goat cheese mall. Oh no. But don't worry. Why don't you whiz off and get some, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. <laughs> Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! Go small, go small, whiz away! 
I wonder what he'll see today. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh, look, they're goats. And that goat is being milked. This is the dairy where the goat's milk is made into cheese. That's an ingredient that turns the milk into curds and whey. Now the milk has been turned into curds and whey, it has to be cut up into little pieces using a special cutter. The whey is drained away. We don't need that anymore. <laughs> The curd is used to make the cheese. It's collected into moulds and put under a press until it is set. The cheese is taken out of its mould and put in a storeroom. Yummy, yummy! I'd better get back to the kitchen with some goat's cheese. Bye! <laughs> I found the perfect disguise. Blip, 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 blip. I'm an alien. Nerf, nerf, blip, 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 blip. I'm an alien. I'm back. Why are you hiding behind that colander, Ben? <laughs> it's my clever disguise. I'm an alien. <laughs> no time for that now, Ben. I've brought back the goat's cheese. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Good work, Small. That was amazing. Goat's cheese is made from goat's milk, you know. The goats were really pretty and they had beards. <laughs> oh, I bet it's all lovely and creamy. Come on then, Small, let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Baguette Bridge? You do. There were onions. Two, thinly sliced. A baguette. One, cut into three. Two short pieces and one long piece. Oil. Two tablespoons. Sugar. One tablespoon. Cider vinegar. Three tablespoons. Cress. A little for decoration. And goat's cheese. Five slices. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now the first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. And remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. So that's a job for your grown-up helper to do. And so is this. I've heated the oil in a medium saucepan until it's nice and hot. Then, I'm going to pour in the onions and give them a good stir until the onions are coated in the oil. Mmm! I love the smell of yummy onions while they're cooking. I wonder if I can think up a clever disguise for Ben with this greaseproof paper. When the onions are golden, it's time to add the vinegar. There we go. Slip, slop. And then we can add the sugar. Plip, plop. Give it a good old stir. Like this. And then we can cook them for another ten minutes until they're really golden. The crinkly crublet has landed. Throw down your spoons. I come in peace. <laughs> Is that you, Small? Yes, Ben. I'm trying to find you the perfect disguise. The only trouble is, I'm stuck. Can you try to unwind me? Okay, here goes. 
Thanks for thinking up the crinkly crublet disguise for me, Small, but it looks a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, let's see if these onions are ready. Don't worry, Ben. I'll find you a disguise. Mmm, these look just right now. So, I'm going to turn off the heat and then bring them across. There we go. And next, I'm going to take the two short pieces of baguette which I've cut the ends off, like this, and pop them onto a baking tray. We can eat the other bits later. And then, I'm going to take the long piece of baguette, which I've cut in half, like this, and I'm going to place that on the baking tray as well. And on top of that, I'm going to put the onions. And some more there. And next is the fun part. On go the slices of goat's cheese. Some there. And there. And another one there. And then, another piece on there. Ho, 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 this looks yummy, Small. <laughs> Ha-ha, I'm a knight in shining armor and I'm ready to joust. <laughs> ah, what are you up to now, Small? Hey, hey, I'm trying out another disguise, Ben. I'm being a knight in shining armor. Now stand aside, my horse is ready to charge. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Are you all right, Small? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I want to be a knight in shining armor. It looks a bit dangerous. Right. Let's get on with our baguette bridge. Now, we can pop it in the oven. So, oven gloves on. And over we go. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Open it up. And in it goes for 10 minutes. I'll set the timer for 10 minutes. The cheese is melted now. But it doesn't really look like a bridge, Ben. It soon will. It's cool enough to touch, so I'm going to arrange the pieces of baguette on a plate like this, in the shape of a bridge. There we go. And then I'm going to sprinkle some cress around the plate as a grassy riverbank. Wowee! That looks brilliant! Quick, Ben, let's give it to the three billy goats gruff while it's still nice and warm. OK, then. One baguette bridge coming through! There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes! And it looks like the Billy Goats Gruff enjoyed the baguette bridge. Look, Small, they've left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? 
Let's see, shall we? <laughs> it says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for the yumptious baguette bridge. Woohoo! We are enjoying our new field very much. Here are Small's mossy shoes that we left by the bridge in case the troll isn't wearing his earmuffs when Small visits us again. Whoopee! My little mossy shoes! I knew I'd left them somewhere. <laughs> oh, hang on, Small, there's more. Here's something to help with Ben's disguise. Big bleats from the three billy goats gruff. Ho ho! <laughs> Look, Small! Hey, hey! It's a goatee beard! <laughs> Let's put it on with the rest of the disguise! I can't wait for the party now. <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> How do I look? Like a right silly Billy. <laughs> but I wouldn't recognise you now, Ben. Now I've got the perfect disguise. <laughs> See, See you soon. soon. <laughs> Cook. We'll cook for everyone! <laughs> oh, hello! Welcome to our cafe! The best cafe in the world! <laughs> I'm staying out of Ben's way at the moment. He's in a terrible flap and I've got no idea why. His face looks like this. <laughs> you wait and see. Oh, 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 Look, he's doing it again. We've got a problem. Calm down, Ben. Whatever's the matter? Oh, hello, everyone. It's Aunt Millie's birthday, and we haven't got her a present. Oh, it's Aunt Millie's birthday, and we haven't got her a present. Oh, dear. Well, maybe we could buy her one. Ben, we haven't got time. We're in the cafe all day. Uh, well, well, perhaps we could cook her something. You know what Aunt Millie's like about food? I don't like this. I don't like that. Well, what are we going to do? I don't know. I really don't know. Huh? We've got a customer. A customer? Well, customers come first, Ben. But we still need to get something for Aunt Millie's birthday. We'll have to think of that later, Small. Go and see who the customer is. I'm on my way! Who is it today, Small? I'll give you some clues. See if you can guess too. It's someone who likes growing silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Is it a girl or is it a boy? It's a girl! A girl who likes spending lots of time in her garden. Oh, I think I know who it is. Is it Mary Mary? Yes, it is, Ben. It's Mary Mary, quite contrary, from the flower garden. Mary Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Oh, I bet she's hungry after all that watering and weeding. Now, what shall we cook for her? What would somebody who grows flowers like to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. This is a story about Mary Mary, who more than anything in the world loved her flower garden. Lots of people came to Mary's stall to buy her beautiful flowers. Sometimes a bunch of tulips, or daffodils, or sometimes just one rose. It was lucky Mary Mary had a big garden, just the place to grow lots and lots of different flowers. But to grow flowers, you need seeds. Today she was going to plant some more. She went to her shed and picked up a seed packet. She planted the seeds in little rows all over the garden and watered them with her watering can. Then there was nothing to do but wait for the seeds to grow. So she waited and waited and waited until one morning she came out and as far as the eye could see, there were hundreds and hundreds of big green leafy things and not a single flower in sight. Mary Mary was so disappointed, 
she just sat down and cried. I knew I had to help. Poor thing, she thought she was a really bad gardener. But Little Cook Small knew better. I could tell straight away what the problem was. I started to pull up the leafy things, and underneath the earth, I found carrots. Mary Mary realised she must have planted the wrong seeds. They weren't flower seeds, they were carrot seeds. And very good carrots they were too. We poured them up together until we had stacks and stacks of juicy orange carrots. Then we planted the flower seeds in the empty garden. Mary Mary was going to have to wait until the flowers grew. But in the meantime, she put a big display of lovely orange carrots on her stool. Then she made carrot soup, carrot cake and carrot juice for all her customers. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Well, roast my potatoes. Oh, <laughs> what a lovely story, Small. Way! Thanks, Ben. So what are we going to make for Mary Mary Quite Contrary? Well, why don't we make her some silver bells and cockle shells? Oh, oh no, Small. I don't think they'd be very tasty. Oh. This needs some careful thought. Hmm. <laughs> oh! Oh, bad. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Oh, yes. The very thing. Fancy flowers. Mary Mary will love these. They remind her of her garden. Come on, Small. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need butter. OK. Over to the fridge. Here we go. There we are. Butter. An egg. One egg. Got the egg, Small. Caster sugar. Oh, over in the cupboard. Here we are. Caster sugar. Yep. Plain flour. Oh, plain flour. There we go. And boiled sweets. Boiled sweets, boiled sweets. Uh, uh yes. Oh, here we are. Everything we need. Apart from the boiled sweets. I was a little bit hungry earlier, Small, and I ate them. They are my favourite. You've eaten all the boiled sweets? Well, don't worry, Ben. It's another job for Little Cook Small and his magic spoon mobile. Great idea, Small. And I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along too? Whee! Go, Small, go, Small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. I'm in the right place here. This is where sweets are made. Sweets are made from sugar. All the ingredients are mixed together and heated up in a big pan. It's really hot. Look at all the steam. Yeah, this one's turned red. He's going to make orange and red sweets. Ah, I love sweets, but I make sure I brush my teeth after eating them. It's all gooey! Yummy! That machine is rolling out the sweets. There's hundreds of sweets, but they're all joined together. When they've cooled down, they're all broken up. Sweets come in lots of pretty colours, just like the flowers in Mary Mary's garden. Mmm, that was fun! See you later! There, 
I think I've earned a nice tasty boiled sweet now. Did you bring any back, Small? Way! I certainly did, Ben. It was amazing watching the sweet maker. First he mixed lots of hot sticky stuff on a table. And as it cooled, he turned it into lots of colourful boiled sweets. And here they are. Whoa! Oh, thanks, Small. All measured out and ready to cook. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates gold. Princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruit smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook. And he is small Friends in our cafe We cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat You can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes! Have you washed your hands? Yes! All clean and ready to cook! Do you remember the ingredients to fancy flowers? You do. There was butter, 200 grams. An egg, one. Caster sugar, 200 grams. Plain flour, 400 grams. And boiled sweets, six. Whoopee! Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, gas mark four. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> and be careful not to fall over on one of those sweets, Small. <laughs> as if I do something as daft as... Uh. Oh! Just making sure. Hmm. Right. I'm going to get these sweets sorted out once and for all. And I'm going to put the sugar... ...and the butter... A little bit more into a mixing bowl and I'm going to cream them both together. Creaming is a special kind of mixing. Here we go. All the red ones first. One, two, three. There we are. All nice, pale, creamy and fluffy. So now it's time to add your egg. In it goes, and I'm going to give it a good stir, round and round, get it all mixed in. Now it's time to sort the yellow sweets. One, two, three, four. Now we need this to be a little bit thicker, and what makes things thicker? That's right, flour does. Hey, <laughs> So I'm going to add in our flour a little bit at a time. There we are. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to give it a bit of a stir with the spoon. In it goes. Keep stirring. Mix it all in together. And last of all, the orange. I wonder how many there are. One, two, three. Here we are. Oh, and this is the fun part. Now I'm going to squidge it up with my nice clean hands. Here we go. Oh, yes. Give it a good old scrunch up. This will teach you sweets. Keep you in order. <laughs> there are five red, four yellow, and three orange. There we are. Look at that. Perfect. So now I need to roll it out to make the biscuits. I've already floured the board, so I just need to start rolling it. There we are. Turn it round. Very good. There we are. There'll be no more slipping over on sweets. <laughs> oh, these biscuits are going to be very tasty. And they're going to look just like the flowers in Mary Mary's garden. So, I'm going to use this flower-shaped pastry cutter to cut out the biscuits. So, I'm going to pop it down on there. Press down. <sighs> And then, oh, up it comes. I'm going to scoop it up. There we are, nice and careful. 
and pop it onto a grease baking tray. There. And now I need to use this round pastry cutter to take a little hole out of the middle. On it goes. Twist it and out it comes. There's one. And now for another. Mary, Mary, it's such a beautiful garden. I wish we had silver bells and cockle shells in our garden. It would make the vegetable patch look so pretty. And just finish off the last one. There we are. These holes are going to be for our boiled sweets, which we're going to pop in later. We need to let them cook a little first. So, in the oven they go for ten minutes until they're nice and golden. I'll set the timer for ten minutes. There. The biscuits are ready. There we are. We just need to leave them to cool down for a couple of minutes. So how are those sweets coming along, Small? Ready when you are, Ben. All present and correct. Which colour would you like first? Oh, that doesn't matter, Small. We're going to have multicoloured flowers. Mary, Mary, I love that. Thanks very much. You've messed up all my sweets, Ben. Oh, sorry, Small. <laughs> These are cool now, so I'm going to pop in the boiled sweets. One there, one there, another one in there, one there, and that one, and then that one. Brilliant! Multicoloured flower biscuits. Oh, Mary Mary's going to love these. And don't worry if your boiled sweet doesn't fill up the hole you've cut out. They'll spread out once they're in the oven, which is where they're going right now. So. Oven gloves on, and we pop them back in the oven for another three minutes. And remember to get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. There we go. And now we wait. They're as pretty as real flowers, Ben. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, is going to love these. Oh, no doubt about it, Small. Just look at the light shining through. Mmm, they look great. Fancy flowers coming through. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wipe, scrub and clean, make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around. Cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate. Hey! It looks like Mary Mary enjoyed her fancy flowers. And look, Small, there's a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small. The fancy flowers were yummy! <laughs> and to say thank you, here's some real flowers from my garden. Isn't that kind? Ben, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I might be. What are you thinking? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Aunt Millie! Oh, hey. See you soon! See you soon! Oh, yeah. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone! Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> I'm just giving our cactus plants a little drink. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> you have to be very careful with cactus plants as they're very prickly. And lots of cactus plants grow in the desert where it's very, very hot. Phew! A great big sun, 
No clouds in the sky. No one about except my cactus and I. <laughs> and me. Hoo -hoo. I'm here too, partner. Hello, everyone. What are you doing, Ben? Ho ho. I'm a cowboy small. Cowboys sometimes ride around in the desert. Do they? Oh, yes, partner. Why do you keep calling me partner? <laughs> Cowboys do that too, small. They say, uh, how you doing, partner? And pass the beans, partner. And things like that. Oh, I want to be a cowboy too. Can I be a cowboy? Partner? You surely can, partner. Just hop on your horse, like this, and ride around like me. Yeehaw! Yippee-yay! Yippee-yay! Woohoo! <laughs> oh Why have you stopped? Cowboy hat small. We can't be proper cowboys unless we've got cowboy hats. You're right, Ben. <laughs> oh, we can't worry about that now, Small. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way, partner. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer today, partner? She's got a check shirt, jeans, and a horse outside. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's Casey the cowgirl. Well done, Ben. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. I was at the big cowboy show with my friend Casey the cowgirl and her horse Star. She was going to enter a competition to round up some buffalo. We were really excited. But then something happened. Oh dear! One of Star's shoes has fallen off. I can't let Star enter the competition without his horseshoe. Then I had an idea. Come with me. And we hurried off to see my friend the blacksmith. A blacksmith is someone who fits iron shoes on horses' hooves to stop their feet getting hurt. Don't worry, Casey, he said. I'll make a new one. Soon he had the fire going and was hammering away until he'd made a lovely shiny new horseshoe. We had to stand in a safe place as the fire was hot, hot, hot. <laughs> the blacksmith soon fitted the new horseshoe, but we didn't know what to do with the old one. Then I had a brilliant idea. Horseshoes are supposed to bring good luck. So I fixed the old one to Star's saddle. Casey was really pleased. Then off we went to the competition. We were just in time. Yee-haw! yelled Casey, and Star ran like the wind. I really had to hang on. Casey was so good at rounding up the buffalo that she won the competition. Whoopee! That horseshoe really must have been lucky. <laughs> Three cheers for Casey, yelled the judges, and they gave her a prize. A lovely star badge to wear on her hat. And three cheers for Star, the fastest horse in the West. <laughs> and don't forget, three cheers for Little Cook Small and his lucky horseshoe. Little Cook to the rescue once again. <laughs> that was a great adventure. Wow, fancy rounding up all those buffalo. Casey is a clever cowgirl. Way! And Star's a very fast horse. And the lucky horseshoe was a great idea, too. I wish we had that lucky horseshoe right now. Why? Because it might help us think of what to cook for Casey. Hmm. Oh! <sighs> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Here we are, Star Bean Burger. Made with buffalo cheese. Ooh, just the thing after a hard day herding buffaloes, partner. <laughs> Yeehaw, partner. Ho oh, ho, perfect. Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need onion. Onion, over we go. Got the onion small. Garlic. Garlic, yep, that's here as well. Got it. Carrot. Over here, yep, carrots. 
Kidney beans. Kidney beans. Got those. Yep. Curry powder. In the cupboard as well. Lovely curry powder. Yep. Oil. Here we go. Got the oil small. Flour. Oh, that's here as well. In the cupboard. Got the flour. Yep. Cherry tomatoes. Lovely red juicy cherry tomatoes. Got them. And buffalo mozzarella cheese. Eh? Buffalo Ooh. mozzarella cheese. Well, here we are. There's everything else for the recipe. Now, I've heard of buffaloes and I've heard of cheese, but I've never heard of buffalo mozzarella cheese. Well, why don't I whiz off and get some and find out how it's made? I think you better add, little cook, and I'll get everything ready. See you later. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoop. Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, this is beautiful. Hello there. Look at those horns. These animals are called buffaloes. And they're off to the milking parlour to be milked. This is the milking parlour. And this is the farmer. He's attaching some suction pipes to the buffalo's udders. The milk is sucked from the buffalo and collected. It's going to be used to make a cheese called mozzarella. The farmer adds an ingredient that turns the milk into curds and whey. Look! The milk has turned into curds and whey. The whey is the runny stuff and we don't need that. The curd is the lumpy bits. We use the curd to make the cheese. <laughs> Look at the curd. It's turned all stringy and stretchy. The curd has turned into cheese. It's a soft white cheese. It's called mozzarella. The cheese is divided into small ball-shaped pieces and stored in some water until it's packed. Now the cheese is packed and weighed and ready to go to the shops. That was great! See you later! Yeah! Woohoo! Hey! Steady there, boy! <laughs> yeah! Hey! I'm back! Hello there, Small. Did you get the cheese? Oh, yes. And here it is. <coughs> Woo! Hey, hey, that's great. Buffalo cheese is made from buffalo's milk. And buffaloes are really big with big horns. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that sounds great, little cook. But we'd better get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Star Bean Burger? You do? There was onion, one, chopped. Garlic, one clove, chopped. Carrot, one, finely grated. Kidney beans, 225 gram tin, drained. Curry powder, one teaspoon. Oil, two tablespoons. Flour, two tablespoons. Cherry tomatoes, one, cut in half. And buffalo mozzarella cheese, two slices. Whoopee, let's get started. I'm going to turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark 6. And that's a job for your grown-up helper to do, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. 
Now we can start on our bean burgers. So the first thing we need to do is mash up the kidney beans. You can do that for me, Small, while I fry the onions. Hey! Mashing, smashing! You can mash with a masher or a fork. I'm going to use a fork. Hoo-hoo! Mash, mash, mash! Hey, smashing, mashing, Small! Hoo-hoo! Now I've started to heat the oil in a frying pan and I'm going to add the onions and the garlic and fry them for a couple of minutes. And this is another grown-up helper job. Are those beans ready yet, Small? Yep, partner! Hey, hey, thank you, partner. Wow, a very good job. Hoo-hoo! Mmm, the smell of frying onions. It makes me think about being a cowboy, sitting around the campfire and waiting for my dinner. Into the pan goes the carrot, the mashed up bean. Oh, quite sticky. Let's get it all in. There we are. The curry powder and the flour. And give it all a good old stir. Stir and stir and stir! Until it's all mixed up together. Now we have to let this cool down before the next bit, so pop it there, turn off the heat, and now I'm going to make a cowboy hat. Hey! So to do this, you need a plain piece of paper or card. Fold it in half, like this, and then draw the shape of half a cowboy hat. Like this. Hey, hey! I wish I had a cowboy hat. Oh, me too, Small. Now, we can cut out the shape. Yee-haw! we go. And open it. That's brilliant! A proper cowboy's hat! But you can't wear it! No, 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 Small! This is for the recipe. And just to finish it off, I'm going to draw a band across it, like this. There we go. And then I can pop it on a plate, ready for a star bean burger. Hey, I've had an idea. <laughs> what are you up to, Small? <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> the mixture's cooled down now, so we can carry on with the recipe. I've placed a star-shaped cutter onto a grease baking tray, and I'm going to spoon in the mixture. Like this, until the star is full. Perfect! Yee-haw! <laughs> Carefully press down with a spoon and then we can gently remove the cutter. There! A star! Now we need to pop it into the oven for 10 minutes. So, oven gloves on and over we go. On there. Open it up and pop it in. And remember, that's a job for your grown-up helper to do because the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer for ten minutes. There we go. Oh, it smells lovely. Yeah. Ha! Do you like my hat, Ben? It's great, Small. <laughs> right, now, ask your grown-up helper to put two slices of buffalo mozzarella cheese onto your bean burger. But you can use any cheese you like. Like this. And then pop it back into the oven until the cheese has melted. So, oven gloves on. 
and back into the oven it goes. Yeehaw! I'm a cowboy and a cowboy calf. Woo! -hoo! Oh, you're a good cowboy, Small. I wish I had a hat. I'll make you one, Ben, whilst the cheese melts. The cheese has melted now, and I've placed the bean burger onto the cowboy hat. And just to finish it off, I'm going to put half of the cherry tomato on there, like that. And there we have it. One cowboy hat with a cowboy badge. Hey! How's my hat coming along, Small? It's ready, Ben. Here you are. Oh, thanks, Small. Ooh. <laughs> I think it's a bit too tiny for me, little cook. <laughs> oh, I so wanted my very own cowboy hat. But never mind. We better get this through to Casey. One star bean burger coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes! And it looks like Casey enjoyed her star bean burger. Look, Small! She's left a note! Well, what does it say? What does it say? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My star bean burger was delicious! Ha <laughs> ha! To say thank you, here's my cowboy hat for Ben. I hope it fits. From Casey the Cowgirl. Wow, Small! Look! Ho oh, ho! It's my very own cowboy hat! Yeehaw! Let's hit the trails, partners! Ho oh, ho! See you soon, partners! See you soon, partners! Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Yeehaw!